Hello everyone, and welcome back to Black Mesa. Back to Black to Black Mesa. Whatever. Um, today we are continuing with Anomalous Materials, Chapter 2. So, Gordon Freeman has got out of bed, got on a train from his dormitory to his workstation. And that is where we find ourselves currently. Aw oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. <laughs> That's a reference to the original Half-Life Gordon's uh, original Half-Life 1 model, which had a ponytail. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okey-dokey. Now these, if I remember right, are the original scientist lines from, um, from Half-Life 1. <laughs> Someone's put them into a chat thingy. Please excuse me, Gordon. Fuck off. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Everyone's so impatient. I mean, I guess I am supposedly running late, so... Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Oh, uh, hi. But it was nice to me, finally. Seems to be online now. I remember in, in uh, Freeman's mind, and that's like the disco room. <laughs> You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. Morning, champ. Hello. <laughs> Let's wreck the microwave casserole. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> Get an achievement for that. Fix the vending machine too, college boy. We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. I'm gonna keep using space to sprint. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Let's stop by uh, Dr. Kuma. I mean, Dr. Chinna's locker. Where's? Dread. No toilet paper. I'm pretty sure this guy gets turned into a zombie, oh, but thank whatever. Heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Where's my locker? Freeman. That's my son, that's Joshua. That's a bit shit. Get me out of this box. I'm just gonna be quoting over I this whole time. Hey look, I have hands. Why, why is there a weapon selection system in this HEV's, um, like, hub? Whoever <laughs> designed this really did have everything in mind. Years into that, space. Mm. Mm, very cool. Remember my days in a hazardous environment suit? I hope things return to normal. <sighs> oh, sh you run so fast. <laughs> Look at this. Go right on through, sir. Huh? I'm not thinking about fruit loops like all day. 
You run at like speed of light. God. This 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 walking speed is like Shepard's sprinting speed. Mass effect. <laughs> Did I download screen? Ben Reed jumps off the elevator. It'll be if you jump down, it'll be faster. Ha 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 ha! Did you I'm get too afraid to look at you? <laughs> We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. So sciencey. What's up, Doc? See, everyone down here is being nice to me. People upstairs were Chris. Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Hey. Hello, ah, Dr. Kleiner. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, <coughs> Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. You can tell these weren't work up you, Gordon, In the test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. I'm going, I'm going. Guy here looks exactly like me. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. I love how they wreck on these characters into here. So Greetings, cool. Eli! Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Hey. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! I found a robot computers! What in the blazes is going on oh, with our problem? equipment? What is your problem? It was never meant to do this in the first place. Love Bobby. Oh. It's nothing we can't <coughs> handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. I'm going. I'm going. God, this is like the most nauseating elevator ever. Ugh. I just, I'd probably be sick if I had to go in here. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off. Everyone says it's like so hardcore sciencey. Beckerel's ghost. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Yeah, that's me. I'm oh, here now. Hi. Uh, hey people. Here he is. I'm Hello, Mr. Stunny Parable Narrator. A bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. Yes, and like potentially a the most audiobook. unstable. Voice. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Damn We've it. assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Let's go and kind of blow up the world as a consequence. Ugh. This street is so strange. No test chamber. I'm about to destroy you. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. I forgot how bad source spiders are. So bad. Very good. We'll take it from here. 
Alright then. Power to stage easy. one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. I'm working. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. That's not good. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Get away from the pain! Oh, oh my god. Shut it down! Shut it down! Don't get it out of here! Shut it down! It's not... It's not shutting down! Move go! Is actually one of the places you go during God Up's run. Hello. Yeah, the world's kind of fucked. Ow. Oh. That's great. facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. There. Ah! That was a passport. What have we done? Fascinating. You look at Foreshadowing? You? We can't afford to waste time. Believe me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, Keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? <coughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a bit near this bridge. Is This is one of my favorite like, chapters of the game. Just because of the atmosphere. Like, wow. Well, You may have killed three of us lives, but it's important to stay calm. I love Dr. Kuma. Gordon. Hello, friend. Gordon! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? Why are they wearing science know? team uniforms? Let's get the hell Come out on. of here. Give me some protection. That's right. Ah. Just time I don't have any kind of um business or anything. You like that? Huh? Ah. You want some more? Can I have a gun? I'd, I'd like a gun. Hey. Ooh, is that a battery in there? Shh. Ah. Smart. Run through fire, you idiot. This shit is something out of a side by me. Yeah, no kidding. <coughs> Whoosh. Don't go in there, man. Don't go in there. Don't. Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Come um, on. There's no batteries in there, is there? Come um, on. Down and kill it, find kill it. I think we have guests. There we go. Sorry, Freeman. Come on, friend. Let's go. I'm stuck in the door. Come on. That's it. Yeah, people getting stuck behind doors is a bit of a thing that happens in this game sometimes. Then you have to, like, manually escort them. Shh. 
Don't throw bins at people, that's not nice. <laughs> How do you like that? I just had a shotgun. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation. Possibly bio contaminated. We are about to grab an iconic weapon from Dr. Freeman. Robot. I am playing this on normal difficulty, which is the easiest difficulty setting. Um, just for the sake of you guys not having to watch me die 7,500 times. I mean, I have done it before, but... Well, this is all going swimmingly. Done. You don't aim in this game. I'm gonna have to remember that. You just use your crosshair. There's no aiming function. Just something I'm gonna have to get used to. Switching between this and my mess bed in sanity room is gonna be, be interesting. These boxes only can take useful things right at the beginning of the game. Oh no, you don't. Ah! Oh. On normal diff- on uh, like slightly higher level of easy difficulty, uh, these crabs do like 10 damage per hit, it's ridiculous. Those guys are a bit screwed. I'm just glad I'm not, not, not like PTSD already. Ah, shit. I have no idea what just happened. source physics. I mean, the, the 
don't need to explain that, that's just a sentence in itself. Mr. Freeman, look out, there's danger! This guy that you can find, and he opens up that security office for you. I think he's around here. Hello. Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Already cleared the way. This way. No gravity gun in this, unfortunately. Oh, Takes all the fun out of the janky physics. That's really oh. sad. Well, at any rate. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be safe in here, my dude. See ya. I've had my. Sad thing is that probably none of these people are gonna make it out in the end. damage than I was expecting. But the pistol in this is so shit. Swim, so we drown. Always aim for the head. It's not doing that way either. So I don't know, but we get Oh, so 
water. It's so gorgeous. Source ladders on the other hand. Same cannot be said. Can you just die over? And load screen. At least the load screens in Mass Effect are interesting. There are little animations. Before I got Mass Effect, this was like the only game I played. Oh shit. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> Just did it. <laughs> did a Dr. Kuma. I completely failed at life. I suck at platforming. I also suck at this game. 
if you haven't gathered that already. I suck at most games, except Mass Effect. I'm actually quite good at that. Boxes. Fuck. Forgot about fall damage. Oh. I hate those squids with passion. Shotgun them every time, but I don't have a shotgun yet, so I can't do that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Sound, there's no like music or anything, it's just a music facility. Just trying to get out. Half-Life Source, they gave these things physics, and I'm so glad they didn't in this. <laughs> this town would have been nauseating! Let's see if I've got any better at platforming in the... like, five months since I've not done any platforming. Whose genius idea was this room? What functional purpose would it serve? I don't understand. I think it's just the beginning of the next chapter. So I I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.